In Vancouver, two Filipino Canadians will slug it out for a seat in British Columbia's Legislative Assembly in the coming provincial election. The ruling BC Liberals has fielded Gabi Kalau to challenge incumbent MLA Mabel Elmore of the opposition New Democrat Party for the Vancouver Kensington riding. This report from Rowena Papasin. Gabi Kalau got his feet wet in the pool of local politics when he ran for the Vancouver Park Board last year, but he failed to get one of the seven seats up for grabs in the municipal elections. Now he's gunning to be the representative of the Vancouver Kensington riding in the province's legislative assembly under the BC Liberals. I choose Vancouver Kensington because we're all immigrants here. In the last 10 years have been very good to people like myself, and I think that's the philosophy I want to carry forward. Kalau's bid to run in the same riding as Mabel Elmore, the first Filipino-Canadian elected in the BC Legislative Assembly, was criticized by some Filipinos as being divisive. But for Kalau... I don't think I divided anything because, you know, not all Filipinos voted for the NDP in the last election. You know, all I'm doing now is giving a voice for all the people who believe first in their jobs and in their families. Elmore admits she was surprised to learn that a Kababayan will be running against her, but she will continue to run a positive campaign and will focus on getting her party's message across. He's inexperienced. He hasn't run before, so I'm looking forward to debating him on the issues. And I'm also very um, interested to hear why he decided to run with the Liberals and how he's going to defend, I think, 12 years of the Liberals really um, having a, a very uh, destructive impact on families and the province, and especially on the Filipino community. Majority of the residents here in the Vancouver Kensington riding come from ethnic roots. Of the more than 70% ethnic minorities, more than half are Chinese, 17% are Filipinos, and 14% are South Asians. Filipino community leader Tate Tom Avendano of the Multicultural Helping House Society is one of them. He said two Filipinos running against each other should be viewed as a win-win situation. It's good. Uh, that means that the choice is, is wider. He adds Filipino-Canadian voters are intelligent enough to choose the best candidate for the job. But for ordinary Filipinos... Hindi dapat magsabay ang dalawang magkapareho ng nationality. Paano mabuo ang ating community o matawag tayong magkapamilya sa isang nasyon kung dalawa pa silang maglalaban dito. Rowena Papasin, ABS-CBN News, Vancouver.